now we'll look at linearizing nonlinear dynamic equations so we start off with your uh, nonlinear dynamic equation here we have uh, two independent variables x and y u is the input clearly this is a nonlinear equation you can apply the linearity test and see if these two equations are nonlinear or not uh, if you linearize about an operating point x0, y0, u0, the process of linearization is going to give you a linearized version of this equation. So what that means is uh, these two equations, the, these are linear, they would behave just like the nonlinear system uh, in a small region about x0, y0, u0. So what's the step? first step uh, is to find the equilibrium point and equilibrium equation by setting all time derivatives to zero. So at the equilibrium point all time derivatives are zero. What does that mean? So you have your uh, original equations, uh, you set your operating or equilibrium point, so substitute uh, um, x with x0, y with y0 and u with u0 and set all the second derivatives equal to zero like so. so if you do that you get these equations. Uh, these are the equilibrium equations. That's the first step. The second step is to find the perturbed equation. So what do you do? You slightly disturb x about x0, y about y0, and u about u0. So the slight disturbance is a small displacement delta x. For y, it is small displacement delta y. And for the input, u is small displacement delta u. So you are at the equilibrium point, and you move slightly away from the equilibrium point and these become perturbed variables. You substitute the perturbed variables in your original differential equation, you get perturbed equation. Now as I said, uh, the derivatives evaluated at the, uh, in, uh, op the operating point are zero. So if, uh, if you simplify this, you're going to get uh, these equations. Now in this, you see the sine y0 plus delta y and the square root of x0 plus delta x times y0 plus delta y are nonlinear terms. Step 3 addresses the nonlinear terms. You linearize nonlinear terms using Taylor series expansion. Let's look at uh, root of uh, x0 plus delta x, y0 plus delta y. And right here, I'm writing the generic form here, the particular form for this. So this is nearly equal to, now we are going to just take the linear terms in the Taylor series expansion. So it is f of x, y, evaluate x0, y0, f of x, y is root of x, y, you evaluate x0, y0, plus partial of f with respect to x, evaluate x0, y0 times delta x. Now if you do the partial of this function with respect to x, you'll get this function, you evaluate x0, y0 times delta x. And similarly, partial of f with respect to y, evaluate x0, y0 times delta y. That is nothing but half root of x divided by y, evaluated at x0, y0 times delta y. So you put in all the terms, you're going to get root of x0, y0 plus half root of y0 divided by x0 times delta x plus half root of x0 divided by y0 times delta y. Similarly, you can do for sine x, and I won't go into the details, as a function of one variable. You'll end up getting, this is nearly equal to sine y0 plus cos of y0 plus delta y. Let uh, you figure this out. The step four is you substitute the linearized terms in the perturbed equations. So you th this is your perturbed equations. You substitute for sine of y0 plus delta y and root of x0 plus delta x times y0 plus delta y. You substitute for those terms like so. And that's what that substitution is. And then step five is you substitute equilibrium equations. So what are equilibrium equations? 3x0 minus sine y0 equal to 0, root of x0, y0 equal to u0. These are equilibrium equations. And you these are your uh, um, uh, perturbed equations with the uh, linearized terms here. Now if you look, 3x0 minus sine y0 equal to 0, you have 3x0 minus sine y0. That goes to 0. And then you have root of x0, y0 equal to u0. So you have u0 here, root of x0, y0 here. Those go to 0. And that results in our linearized equations about the operating point x0, y0, u0.